I just grab get boss. I need to communicate with my character. Now I can use a cast, say cast to third person character and I can communicate with my third person character. I can access these variables, I can access the functions using this, but this is an expensive way to do it. And like I said, I'm gonna show you all the optimizing best ways, best practices that I know about, of course, I don't know everything, instead of just showing you the fast way like most people do on YouTube. So let's do this. The best way to communicate between blueprints is usually through a blueprint interface. So if I right click here and I go into blueprints, and I choose blueprint interface, blueprint interface, and I'll call these my game, whatever the name is, BPI for blueprint interface, okay? And if I open this up, I can now create just functions. That's the only thing you can do in here is create functions. So uh, the functions can be setters or getters for variables, or they can be events. What we do here is, is set that target. So I'm just going to call it set boss target, okay? And I know I need an actor. I need to send an actor to the third person character blueprint. So I'll use an input here and I call this actor, right? Actor object reference, okay? And this is going to be the boss, right? Right, save, compile. Now, in my blueprint, my character blueprint, I need to go into my class settings, okay? And where it says interfaces, you can see there's no interfaces. So I'm gonna add an interface and I'm gonna use my game BPI, the interface we just created. As soon as I did that, notice that here we now have interfaces and we now have set boss target. And now I can implement this function. Right click, implement function. Okay, now I have this event set boss target. Now I have the event that will be waiting for a boss target and I'm gonna save, I'm gonna compile. And if I go back to my boss trigger, I can come here out of any actor, right? Out of any actor and, uh, and call that who's be who's going to be overlapping is us the player so set boss okay and here i have set boss this is just a set that variable but i have here my game bpi which is the interface we just created and i have this option set boss target message so it comes up as an envelope is a message that i'm going to send to whoever uh, implements our blueprint interface okay so i'm gonna s send the boss the guy okay let's get rid of this i'm gonna send the boss to him and it's an event so every time we go over this box we're gonna get whatever it was set in this box as the bot as the boss and we're gonna get it here so if i now print here in my character blueprint if i do a print string right with the boss and I play let's go over it okay now it says boss which is that guy over there so now that we have our enemy we can enter our uh, boss fight mode whatever we want to call it so I want to save this guy so I'll just drag a pin out and promote this to a variable and call it boss okay or target or whatever you want to call it and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to start checking if my boss is on screen or not. So I'm going to grab my handle, get the handle, this handle right here, and I'm going to say unpause. In other words, start checking. So grab this handle here, grab it. We have a boss now. Let's start checking. So unpausing is going to start this timer now. This timer is connected to this event and this event is going to start checking if the actor is on screen. And he's going to like, what actor? Well, the boss actor that we have there. Okay. And it's always good practice to check if it's still valid, if it didn't die yet. Otherwise, we're going to get an error. So is valid 
and I'm gonna check this bottom one here because it gives me the is valid and not valid and that way I don't need to do um, a branch because I could also do the other is not valid and then do a branch so this is gonna check it's gonna check and on screen is the variable if it's true is on screen if not is not on screen so I'll just do a print here let's print and let's print the result and see what happens so save compile go to the third person play the game okay is down there this is turned on is true is on screen as soon as he gets off screen it's false okay true false okay false true false so we got that done 